All right, okay. We're at the tricky end of this exam paper now. It's question 21. Um, there's quite a lot of going on here, so we just kind of need to keep track. It says the, the length of the rectangle is the same as the length of each side of a square. The length of the rectangle is 4 more than 3 times the width. The area of the square is 66 more. Okay, so it's a bit hard to kind of keep track of what's going on, so let's just roughly draw out what we think what's happening. So the length of a rectangle is the same length of each side of a square. So actually, my square is bigger. So each one of these should be the same length. Now there's a couple of ways you could do it. What I thought was, um, if I start with the width as x, I know the length of the rectangle is 4 more than 3 times. So 3 times is 3x. 4 more is plus 4. So we know that this square has sides 3x plus 4 as well. Okay? So, and then we're told the area of the square is 66 more. So, well, if we find an expression for the area of the rectangle, an expression for the area of the rectangle is uh, x brackets 3x plus 4. And an expression for the area of the uh, square is uh, 3x plus 4 oh, yeah. multiplied by itself for squared. So I know that, that this is worth 66 more than this. So if I add 66 onto this, it should be the same area as this. So I can write an, ex an expression or an equation. I can say that. Um, if I multiply this out, 3x squared plus 4x plus the 66, because it says it's 66, the square is 66 more, is equal to the double bracket 3x plus 4, 3x plus 4. So I've made an expression now. So I'm going to multiply the right hand side. So I get 3x squared plus 4x plus 66 over here. On this side, I'm going to get 9x squared. Then I'm going to get a 12x and a 12x. So together that's 24x. And then a 4 and a 4 is 16. And then I'm going to collect everything together. And because this has got the most number of x squared, this is 9x squared, this is only 3x squared, I'm going to collect everything on the right hand side. So 9x squared, take off 3x squared, 6x squared, 24x minus 4x is 20x, 16 minus 66 is minus 50. So what I'm really trying to solve is 6x squared plus 20x minus 50, I'm just going to write it the other way around, is equal to 0. So I'm going to divide everything by 2, because it's equal to 0, so I get 3x squared plus 10x minus 25 is 0, and then I'm going to set up a set of double brackets. Um, I know it's got to start 3x and x, it's the only way to get 3x squared. I'm going to make 25, so it's probably 5 and 5, 1 plus 1 minus, I have a 10x, so if I add a 5 in here, this and this will give me 15x, a minus 5 in here, when I take the 5x off, it's going to give me 10x. So therefore, my solutions are uh, 3x minus 5 equals 0, or x plus 5 equals 0. So my answers are, take 5 to the other side, 5 divided by 3, or x is equal to minus 5. Now clearly I can't have this, because this is a negative answer, we're talking about length here. So this is the answer that I want to take, there. So if I just go up here, it now says find the length and the width. Well, that's okay, the width is easy. The width is just... Uh, 5 over 3, or 
one and two thirds centimeters. And the length is the answer x. Well, we're going to close by three and add four. So it's three lots of my five over three plus four, which is three by the three. So it's five plus four, which is nine centimeters. So the width is worth one and two thirds, and the length is worth nine. And that's it, I'm done. It's quite tricky. There's quite a lot going on here. So it's quite a lot of words we've got to convert. So that's why drawing a little diagram sometimes helps and then writing out down anything you can. I think once you've got this bit, it's quite a lot of algebra here, but the algebra isn't too hard, but getting this is really tricky.